Hey guys, today we're talking about key signatures that use the high third finger pattern on viola. If you're new to key signatures, check out my other videos which I've linked below. Otherwise, have your instrument tuned up and handy so you can play along. Before we jump in with the finger patterns, let's review what you probably already know about key signatures. We always put sharps or flats in the same order so we can tell at a glance which ones we need. This is the key to knowing which notes to play. So if there's one sharp, it's always F. If there are two sharps, they're always F and C. See if you can say them all in order with me. F, C, G, D, A, E, B. It helps if you can memorize these, but if this is new to you, it's okay. You'll catch on as we go. Let's start on the C string. The notes on the tapes are D, E, and F. By the way, those all happen to be natural notes, no sharp so far. Let's play them together. You'll hear four clicks to set the tempo. I hope you made sure to place your second and third fingers really close together for the half step from E to F. It helps to keep your wrist down and place your fingers on their tips so the knuckles are square, not sloped. Feel free to pause the video to practice this pattern with good technique and intonation. But if you're all set, let's go on. If you've never played high third finger on the C string before, let's take a moment to find it. Slide your third finger a half step toward the bridge. It should be between your third and fourth finger tapes if you have them. It should sound like this. See if you can match this pitch on your instrument. This note is F sharp. As we build up to it from first finger, notice that now we have whole steps between all of the fingers. Try it with me. Now let's move the sharp symbol to the key signature. Remember, F sharp is always the first sharp in the key signature. Even though the symbol is in the top space, all Fs will be sharp, even the one on the C string. Let's play this pattern one more time. It should sound the same as it just did. Let's do a few more examples on the C string. Pay attention to the key signature. If you see at least one sharp in the key signature, use high three for F sharp. If you see any flats or nothing at all, use regular three for F natural. In the last example, it's a good idea to use fourth finger to play G so you avoid crossing strings. Make sure to place your pinky on its tip so the third finger can get as close as possible for the half step. Let's try it one more time to check your finger shape and intonation. All right, let's move on to the G string. The basic notes are A, B, and C. As we play these notes, test your third finger with open string C. They should match. If not, you may need to adjust your finger. Now let's try that with C sharp. If we have two sharps in the key signature, all Fs and Cs will be sharp. Let's do a few more examples on the G string. Pay attention to the key signature. If you see two or more sharps, use high three for C sharp. If you see one sharp, any flats, or even nothing at all, use regular three for C natural.
Did you remember to use fourth finger in that last example? If not, go back and try it again. It might help to practice tapping the fourth finger on its tip with your wrist straight and pinky curved. As long as you're using good technique, playing fourth finger will start to feel easy. But let's move on with the D string. The basic notes are E, F sharp, and G. This time, as you play third finger, listen for a ringing sound. If your finger perfectly matches open G, it will resonate and you'll hear it ring. Now let's try that with G sharp. If we have three sharps in the key signature, all Fs, Cs, and Gs will be sharp. We were already playing F sharp, but now we need to use high third finger for G sharp. Okay, now watch the key signature for the next examples. If there are three or more sharps, you'll need high third finger for G sharp. If there are fewer than three sharps, you'll use G natural. Great! I hope you're paying attention to the whole step and half step patterns as you play. That's what allows you to sound in tune. And of course you should be using fourth finger to avoid string crossings. But hey, only one string left, the A string. The basic notes are B, C sharp, and D. Let's play that pattern listening for the ringing tone with open D. To make the D a D sharp, we'll need four sharps in the key signature, F, C, G, and D. Notice that all Ds will be sharp now, which means we wouldn't be able to use open D with this key signature, but we'll talk about that in a later video. Let's just play this pattern with high third finger D sharp. So remember, in order to use high third finger D sharp, there need to be four or more sharps in the key signature. If there are fewer than four sharps, use D natural. All right, time to level up. We've played high three on all four strings, but only one string at a time, and we didn't use any low twos. Now let's really challenge you by crossing strings and reviewing some other finger patterns. Make sure to look at the key signature before you play each exercise. All right, that's it. Now you know how to apply key signatures using high third finger on all four strings. If those last few were challenging, go back and try them again. Otherwise, look for pieces with lots of sharps to keep practicing these patterns. Make sure you check your key signature, know what notes you're supposed to play, know how they should sound, and pay attention to how it feels to play correctly. With a bit of practice and attention to detail, you are definitely going to level up. Keep playing pretty.